Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Now, I am not religious at all. My mother's Jewish. My father's a nice little goyim. Um, I was a nice mix. They said, you can do whatever you want. And I said, great, I choose neither. I'm going to choose the holidays that have the best food. So Lent was out the window. Yom Kippur was out the window. <laughs> um, but my grandmother, on the other hand, Elizabeth Tobkis, she was very religious. She was the nice Jew that had the vodka in her pocket when we you know, went through her clothes after she died. And we found, we were expecting to find money. We were expecting to find jewelry. But we found an old vodka. Um, <laughs> And it was great. You know, we would visit her in the nursing home and she would celebrate the holidays with us and she would celebrate all of the little, you know, we'd have Hanukkah celebration with her. We'd have a Passover Seder. She wouldn't remember who I was, but we'd have a Passover Seder with her. And that continued. And I had her menorah. And I, one day I said, Mom, can I take this menorah to college with me? And she looked at me and she said, absolutely not. This is in my family for too long. You can't take it with you. And I said, Mom, can I, you know, it's tradition in the Jewish faith, in case you're not familiar, to ask twice. Um, <laughs> and I said, Mom, can I please take this menorah to college with me? And she said, fine, I'm going to wrap it up all nice. I'm going to put it in a little box. And you're not going to touch it until Hanukkah. And I said, OK, fine. So Hanukkah comes around. This is now last year around, Hanukkah was late last year. It was around Christmas time. So my house that I lived in with eight other people was, um, mostly Christians, so we had a Christmas tree. And I said, okay, I'm going to, you know, Jew this up a little bit. I'm going to put the uh, menorah right next to the Christmas tree, right in the window on the second floor so everyone else on the street can see it. And I said, my grandmother would love this. It's her menorah. She would love this. And each night, I would go up and I would walk upstairs because I lived on the first floor, and I'd light the menorah. And first night went by, great. Second night went by, great. Haven't burned anything down. This was an old house. Um, third night goes by, great. Fourth night comes, and I'm feeling a little down. This was, senior year of college was a little rough for me, um, as I'm sure it's a little rough for most people. You know, you're writing thesis, you're dealing with relationships. It's a time. Um, <laughs> and I'm lighting the menorah, and I say, all right, you know what? Here's something I haven't done in a long time. In fact, my entire life. I'm going to pray. I, you know, I do my little, I do my little, I sing the song I, to no one. There's no one there. Everyone's doing their own thing. <laughs> but I'm going to sing it to myself and then to my grandmother, God bless. <laughs> um, and I say, all right, I'm going to pray. And I say, all right. I get, I'm not on my knees because it's a dirty floor. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to sit down in my chair and I say, all right, how do I start? Elizabeth, no, that's too formal. <laughs> Grandma, can you hear me? And I say, I'm going to light my candles for you tonight. And I'm going through, and I'm lighting the candles. And it's the fourth night, so you light five candles. And I'm going through the prayer, and I say, Grandma, can you hear me? And I look out, and looking out the window, nothing. It's cloudy. Looking out the window, maybe I'll see something. Is there a cat? No. <laughs> she likes cats. <laughs> and... I'm sitting there, and I'm just looking at the candles, and they're flickering, and they're flickering, and all of a sudden, they go out. I'm like, that was weird. There's no wind. I'm inside. There shouldn't be a draft. I paid rent this month. <laughs> and I say, Grandma, is that you? And there's a knock on the door. I'm like, that's weird. Again, I paid rent this month. There shouldn't be a knock on the door. <laughs> shouldn't be anyone coming for me, I promise. And I go down, and there's no one there. And I come back up, and it turns out one candle had stayed lit. And it's the shamus, which is the candle that you light all the other candles with. And that was the night I realized my grandmother was still with me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>